Joshua Cheptegei, a Ugandan, becomes the world champion over 10,000 meters. Joshua Cheptegei is the world cross country champion, the first Ugandan ever to take that title. The crowd want him to win this, he will deserve it. Gabby Webb chasing hard, but Cheptegei found something else. He goes away again. Over the past 12 months, Joshua Cheptegei from Uganda has won the World Cross Country Championships, he's won the World Track and Field Championships, he was the Diamond League Champion over the 5,000 meters, and most recently over the past two months, he's broken two separate world records, one in the 10K on the roads and another in the 5K on the roads. In 2019, Cheptegei was unquestionably one of the greatest distance runners in the world. However, for 2020, which is of course an Olympic year, he is eagerly awaiting his much-anticipated running encore. Each year, we've seen Cheptegei reach new levels of distance running supremacy, and just when you think he can't reach another level of running speed, he comes back and breaks yet another world record. In this video, we'll be detailing the training, the racing, and the lifestyle of the runner who many think is the future of the sport. To achieve multiple world records and various world titles, Cheptegei runs an incredible amount of miles. Detailed here is a typical training week for Joshua Cheptegei. In total, he runs approximately 90 to 100 miles each week, or about 150 to 160 kilometers. One very important aspect of his training is the difference between fast runs and slow runs. For his track workouts, Cheptegei certainly runs very fast, as he often achieves speeds well under 60 seconds per lap, especially when he's running 400 meter reps or even 800 meter reps. Alternatively, when he does his slow runs, he makes sure to run very slow. These slower runs are mostly done on Wednesdays, where he and his team will run anywhere from 6 minutes up to 6 minutes and 20 seconds per kilometer. This training method is somewhat different from the training methods of other Kenyan athletes who often run their slower runs in under four minutes per kilometer. For all of Cheptegei's training, he runs in Kapchora, Uganda, which sits around 2,000 meters in elevation. Before 2015, Uganda lacked a central location for elite distance runners to train. However, at the turn of 2015, in the hilly Mount Elgon region of the Ugandan Highlands, the Global Sports Communication Training Camp was established. Along with this new central location, Cheptegei took it upon himself to construct a 400 meter training track for speed work. This track is located at 2500 meters in elevation, which is a full 500 meters above the typical training grounds for Cheptegei. This video here showcases one of Cheptegei's workouts, and while it's unknown exactly which distance he was running, he was absolutely flying in this side shot. Notice also that the track is completely made up of compact dirt, instead of the typical synthetic material that you will see in most tracks worldwide. It really does look as though the entire Ugandan training group is running at the top of the world in this video, and it's without question that this high altitude training very much benefits the entire Ugandan team. Another unique aspect of this training group is hill running. For most training runs, hills are a huge part of the workout. This only makes sense as Capchora is surrounded by hilly terrain and very steep inclines. The only days when Cheptegei does not intentionally run hills is during his speed workouts, his tempo runs, and his Saturday fartlicks. As previously mentioned, the track sessions are mostly done at high altitude. However, Thursday tempo runs and the Saturday fartlicks are accomplished in very unique locations. For his Thursday tempo runs, Cheptegei travels 40 minutes away to a flat area surrounded by farmlands. This area has a 5.5 km flat trail, which is ideal for his tempo runs as he can very accurately gauge his speed and his running efforts. For his actual tempo distance, 
Cheptegei runs around 30 kilometers. However, Cheptegei often runs closer to 20, and sometimes he even runs closer to 35 kilometers. Following these tempo runs, the Ugandan team often uses the surrounding rivers as an ice bath. For many years, athletes have used this technique to relax the muscles after runs. However, this method of recovery may or may not have a significant influence on Cheptegei's actual performance, but still, it's a great way to relax after a long run. Next, for his Saturday fartlek, he heads over to the appropriately named Fartlek Road. This road is specifically chosen because it's not too hilly, and it also provides decent footing for increased paces. These fartlek workouts will last anywhere from 30 minutes up to one hour, and guess who usually is the fastest of the entire group? You guessed it, it's Joshua Cheptegei. For as many kilometers as Cheptegei runs, it's all about quality for the entire Uganda team. Not one single kilometer is run without purpose, and that's the way it's been since the beginning for Joshua Cheptegei. In addition to his incredible running, Cheptegei implements light strength and conditioning work for additional running balance and also injury prevention. Often these only include basic form drills, however over time, such strategies have certainly lowered injuries, and if Cheptegei has proven anything, it's that the implementation of strength and conditioning has worked. After all of these extensive workouts, it's important to have a balanced and very regimented diet. For the post-run morning breakfast, meals typically consist of bread, milk, tea, bananas, and also eggs. These meals are all prepared by the in-house cooks at the training camp in Uganda. Following a one and a half hour recovery period, lunch options for Cheptegei typically include rice, meat, beans, fresh fruit, and lots of water. Fellow teammate Steven Kipritich, who was the 2012 Olympic champion for the marathon, says that this meal is rather light compared to other elite athletes in other sports. For both Kipritich and Cheptegei, it's important to eat a light meal as to not weigh the athletes down for more workouts in the evening. For dinner, the athletes typically eat ugali, meat, vegetables, beans, fruit, and also milk. My guess is that this milk is packed with protein and calcium, which aids in muscle and bone recovery, but it could also be simply a preference for the athletes. Overall, Cheptegei's diet is high in protein, it's high in carbohydrates, and it certainly seems as though he gets plenty of vitamins and minerals from his fruit and his vegetable intake. One additional dietary routine is that for the vast majority of these Ugandan athletes, they run in the morning on an empty stomach. They may drink a glass of water before these workouts, however, it's very common to do these morning runs while fasting. This is quite unique to East African training, and these Ugandan athletes often won't eat anything even before running up to 35 kilometers. All of Cheptegei's training habits are certainly the mark of a very disciplined and intensely motivated runner. However, without actual execution on race day, all of these efforts would be for nothing. Fortunately for Cheptegei, his racing has only gotten more and more impressive throughout the years. The first signs of racing greatness from Joshua Cheptegei came from the World Junior Championships in 2014. At the young age of 18, he placed first in the 10,000 meters with a time of 28 minutes, 32.86 seconds. This performance put him a full two and a half seconds ahead of his closest competitor, and it seemed as though he was potentially the next great talent coming out from East Africa. Moving forward from this race, in 2015 he once again placed first, this time in the African Junior Championships over the 10,000 meter distance. For this race, he only ran 29 minutes and 58 seconds. However, it was still a great performance, and moving into the 2016 Rio Olympics, Cheptegei was beginning to show promise as a potential medalist. During the Olympic Games in Rio, Cheptegei only managed to place 8th in the 5,000 and 6th in the 10,000 meters. Although he ran quite fast times in both of these races, his performances unfortunately did not reach the podium. With this new taste of international competition, Cheptegei was very determined to move up the world rankings, and as 2017 emerged, Cheptegei was clearly in much better fitness. However, at the 2017 World Cross Country Championships, Cheptegei would experience one of the most dramatic and tragic races of his life. On March 26, 2017, Joshua Cheptegei was considered one of the pre-race favorites for the World Cross Country title. This race was very special for Cheptegei, as it was located in Uganda's capital city of Kampala. Still only 20 years of age, Cheptegei was untested on the international cross-country stage. 
However, as the race continued, he maintained contact with the front runners. In fact, he was often the athlete who pushed the pace forward. Running up front with multiple Kenyans and multiple Ethiopians, Cheptegei was easily visible in his yellow singlet, and just after the 16-minute mark, this yellow-jerseyed Ugandan made a very confident move up front and continued to push the pace forward. Only about halfway through the race, Cheptegei surged ahead and only Jeffrey Kamworo from Kenya was able to respond to this powerful move. Even for Kamworo, it was obvious that the pace was extremely quick as he could just barely hold on to the pace of Cheptegei. As each minute passed, he only put more and more distance on Kamworo behind him. With only three minutes left to run, it really did seem as though Cheptegei was on a celebratory victory lap, but all of a sudden, he slowed down significantly. Now running at a much slower pace, Cheptegei seemed as though all of his energy was completely zapped from his body, and as Kamworo passed him, other runners from around the world continued to pass him. Over the final two minutes, Cheptegei simply had no energy left to give. Although he was struggling immensely, Cheptegei courageously found it within him to finish the race for his country. With the love and support of the Ugandan crowd behind him, Cheptegei made the heroic attempt to win the world title for his country, but sadly, he came up a mere two minutes short of his goal. For quite a while, this loss was a very difficult pill to swallow for Cheptegei. He even stated in multiple interviews that for a few weeks, he didn't even want to leave his house because of this world cross-country failure. However, after a few months, he understood that this race was a very unique learning opportunity. Although he ultimately came up short of his goal, he certainly had the potential to win this race. He simply miscalculated his efforts by accelerating just a little bit too early. With newfound confidence and understanding from this race, Cheptegei took to the 10,000 meters at the World Track and Field Championships in 2017. Competing against the world's best, Cheptegei, who was still only 20 years of age, was one of the pre-race favorites for the gold medal. Along with Cheptegei, other runners in the race included Jeffrey Kimuro, Madan Muchiri, Paul Tanui, and also the two-time Olympic 10,000 meter champion, Mo Farah. From the very beginning of the race, Cheptegei took the lead in order to ensure that a fast and honest pace occurred. Although the pace shifted up and down through the first five kilometers, the lead runners passed through the five kilometer mark in 13 minutes and 33 seconds. Although this was not a super fast pace, it was an honest pace, and along with Cheptegei's quick pace, Jeffrey Kamuro from Kenya also made efforts up front to keep the pace fast. With three kilometers remaining, Cheptegei made a powerful push up front in an effort to drop the field. With an eighth kilometer of two minutes and 38 seconds, followed by a ninth kilometer of two minutes and 39 seconds, Cheptegei along with various Kenyans and Ethiopians were still up front pushing the pace. All of this front running was done in an effort to drop Mo Farah, who had proved to be almost unbeatable over the 10,000 meters for the previous five years. With one lap remaining, Farah was now up front, with Tanui, Kamoro, and also Cheptegei in hot pursuit. Coming down the home stretch, Farah once again pulled away to yet another World Championship gold medal in the 10,000 meters. But close behind Farah was the new Ugandan talent, Joshua Cheptegei. Although he only placed second in this race, Cheptegei's performance was certainly a powerful moment of redemption. And it should be noted that he also closed quite quickly, which certainly showcased great potential for this emerging distance talent. After this fantastic silver medal, Cheptegei has been on a winning streak that very few athletes could match. In 2018, he won both the 5,000 and the 10,000 meters at the Commonwealth Games. Then, later that same year in November, he smashed the 15K world record on the roads with a time of 41 minutes and 5 seconds. Moving into 2019, Cheptegei was riding a distance running high that very few athletes could match. Of course, there was Elid Kipchoge, who was completely dominating the marathon, but from the 3,000 meters up to the 10-mile distance, Cheptegei was almost unbeatable. In fact, in 2018, he was actually undefeated over any race above 1,500 meters. And once 2019 began, Cheptegei turned the 10,000 meters into his personal playground. In March, he opened his season with a fantastic win at the World Cross Country Championships, where he cruised home to victory over the 10,000 meter distance. This victory was a huge moment for Cheptegei, who finally redeemed himself after his 2017 performance in Uganda. 
Later in October, he won the World Track and Field Championships with a time of 26 minutes and 48 seconds, missing the World Championship record by only 2 seconds. After winning this second world title in the same year, he finished off his 2019 with a flourish as he broke the world record in the 10K distance on the roads with a time of 26 minutes and 38 seconds. While 2018 was certainly a great year for Cheptegei, 2019 certainly marked a new level of success as he won two global titles and he broke yet another world record. Currently, Cheptegei is training for the Olympic Games in Tokyo, and although we're only two months into this Olympic year, he's already bettered the 5K road world record with a stellar time of 12 minutes and 51 seconds. To put into perspective how fast this time really is, Cheptegei's 12.51 equates to each lap run under 62 seconds, and he did this on the roads at a course where he's never run before. In a recent interview with the World Athletics Federation, Cheptegei made two very important announcements. First, he stated that he will definitely be attempting the 5,000 and the 10,000 meter double at this year's Olympics. At the moment, he certainly seems to be the favorite for the 10,000, but if he could somehow manage to also win the 5,000 meters, he would be one of the few athletes to ever accomplish this historic double. Secondly, he announced that he will also be competing in this year's World Championships over the half marathon. This will actually be his very first half marathon race, and it will be super interesting to see how he'll perform over the 13.1 mile distance. Given that he clearly has extreme efficiency and a very powerful stride, I personally believe that he will perform very well at this year's World Half Marathon Championships. Indeed, Cheptegei's racing history is quickly shaping into one of the most epic in distance running, and with the 2020 Olympics just around the corner, only time will tell how he'll perform in both the 5,000 and the 10,000 meters. According to Cheptegei's coach, Adi Ruder, Cheptegei is a natural-born leader. Along with his exemplary work ethic, he is appropriately referred to as the chairman of Captura. In an interview with Cheptegei, he revealed his mental approach to running. He says that everything starts with the mind. If you believe you can do it, then anything is possible. On the starting line, everybody is fit, but there is still something that separates the gold from the silver and the silver from the bronze. It's the attitude of never giving up. Indeed, Cheptegei's training, his racing history, and his lifestyle all make him a very successful athlete. But there is one characteristic that makes Cheptegei a truly extraordinary athlete, and that is Cheptegei's running stride. In my most recent video, which I'll link up above right now, I couldn't help but call his stride poetry in motion. When Cheptegei runs, he looks like he is floating. Honestly, I think his running form is what completely separates him from his counterparts. With just one look at his stride, it's easy to understand that he is a very special athlete. Along with this very long stride, Cheptegei maintains an extremely balanced upper body. This is likely the product of a very strong core as well as balanced mechanics. Additionally, he simply looks more relaxed than everyone else, which is a huge advantage in distance running as it can reflect a very high running economy. Also, when he lands on his feet, it seems as though his body takes almost no impact, which again is a big advantage as it reflects a very high level of mechanical efficiency. There's honestly very few negatives when it comes to Joshua Cheptegei's stride, and this incredible combination of power, smoothness, elegance, and efficiency is a lethal combination that very well could lead to many more world records. At the moment, his future is still uncertain, but one thing is for sure, Every runner throughout the world should be on the lookout for Joshua Cheptegei.